Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to do part two of the build of the Lego Lone Ranger Constitution Train Chase. So this is where we got, in part one, we built the steam engine element. So we're just going to kind of push that guy to the side. Because what we have now is uh, bag number three, and we're going to be building the, um, the coal car that follows right behind the steam engine because that's what they use to create the fire and the engine. All right, so we have a minifigure in this bag. This is Danny Reed. And he has double printed face. We'll just kind of put his regular face on. And he's carrying a slingshot. It's not really a slingshot, more of it's a printed tile of a slingshot. So that is our third or fourth minifigure that we've uh, put together from this set so far. All right, so again, the build of the trucks for the coal car. Two of these modified bricks with the bar on the side with a couple slotted tiles on them. Those right there. Couplers. Plate all the way across the top. And this coal car is going to continue to highlight the green color. There's a little bit of green accent color in the steam engine. The coal car is going to have a little bit more than just a highlight. It's mostly going to be green. Modified bricks have studs on two sides. So there's a couple variations of these modified bricks with studs that have them on one side. These have two sides, and then of course there's the Travis brick that has them on four sides. And you also have the, the standard top stud. Do a couple slopes. These are going to represent the pile of coal. And then we have this frame element that'll kind of hold everything together. with a couple plates. Now, this is the pile of coal, or the representation of it, I guess. It's really not going to be a true pile of it. So we just 
just scatter some of these black elements around. Put that on there. So there's a compartment there if you want to actually fill that up with the, the black stuff, but right now it's just kind of fake, kind of looks like it has coal in it. These long skinny stickers applied to a tile are extremely tricky to put on. Looks like I was able to get that one pretty good. But don't speak too soon because we have another one to do. So what I like to do is kind of stick it on one side and then pull it the whole length. Try to align it before I drop it down on there. It's kind of the technique I've found that works the best for these long stickers. We have our train wheels along with these metal axles that came in the first bag. So we basically saved them until now. there. Um, turn this around. We have two handbars. So when the train workers are climbing up on here, they've got something to grab onto. And a shovel for shoveling the coal. And then that's the coal car. Bring the train over and you can see it Matches perfectly on the back. Color scheme fits real well together and it's ready to hit the tracks. So that's cool. Next we're going to move on to bag number four and that also completed instruction book one. This set is divided into two instruction books so we're going to begin instruction book number two, bag number four. parts. Alright, so this um, portion or this bag is going to begin the, the train cars, the freight cars that are being pulled by the train. And the, the cars we're building are based loosely on the scene in the movie. So they're not going to be like super authentic to to real cars, it's going to be modified with a bunch of different stuff. Alright, so this is the next minifigure. This is Latham Cole, and he carries a rifle. So that's our next minifigure. He's got a pretty cool little hat. I like that hat. If it'll focus, there it goes. All right. So we're gonna begin with this modified plate with studs on the side. Attach another one over here. I have a square plate. And then our trucks. Okay. 
do a couple tiles on the side. There's the couplers and the big plate that goes all the way across. Got some dark red plates. Slotted tiles. Now we have this. This is kind of where it's going to get a little bit different than a normal train car. We have this turntable plate and some 2x2 two two jumpers are going to be used to hold some of the freight. boxes and we saw this in part one of the build bag one these are the metal axles for the train wheels you see there's four of them in that box we're only going to use two right now the inside of this train car. There's our turntable piece. We have some barrels. We have a wooden crate. Now we're going to build this um, kind of gimmicky Gatlin gun type element. that turntable piece so you see it turns around now we're going to create the rotating gun and to be honest with you the, the technic elements are pretty pretty cool in here the way that they made this spinning element with such small amount of pieces these kind of pearlescent gold studs kind of scattered around this quarter round plate goes there see, see it's got this turning element and then we take this axle with a stop put a half bushing on another one of these bevel gears there put it through a Technic brick a dark bluish gray barrel on the end and in that barrel we'll put a light bluish gray cone 
catch it there. And you can see when you turn this crank, the barrel is turning. And then we have the Travis brick that I was talking about earlier. It's a brick with studs on four sides in addition to the top stud. So we attach these binocular pieces. Attach that there. And you can see it looks like kind of the barrels of some guns. Cone. Another stud element. Plates, quarter round, top, bring this over, this attaches there. So, see so you can rotate it around and turn this to do some shooting. Inside of this crate, we have some silver. So some silver bars and a couple of the, looks like silver crystals. And that completes this bag. So that train car more or less will attach to the back of the coal car like that. So, starting to build out this train. Not bad. It's looking good. So, we have um, two more bags left. So, I'm going to do those in the last portion of this video. It's bag five and six. So, um, appreciate you guys watching. Put a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the final part or any other build videos that I do because that's all I do on this channel. So if you like these kind of videos, you're in the right spot. So subscribe, come back and check out the videos that I post every day. Thanks again and we'll see you tomorrow.